Hey there, welcome back. I am going to show you guys a video today that I have been promising for two years now and now I'm doing it on a timeline because I'm actually moving out in about three weeks, probably when you see this in like a week, and I'm doing an apartment tour. I actually get the full scope of the apartment and this is what Dayton, Ohio will get you for a thousand dollars. So also to kind of keep that in mind, living expenses here are way cheaper than a lot of other places so what may be a thousand a dollar apartment here is probably like two thousand in LA or I don't know I'm throwing numbers out there but let's get into it when you walk in there's a door here wow beautiful door and that is straight into the kitchen and my living room this is only 800 and something square feet so it's not a large apartment by any means but i like the open concept that's definitely what drew me to this place i'm like obsessed with this kitchen i'm going to miss this so much but i just have four bar stools here i never once in the two years use those that's a lie i used it maybe a couple times but not enough to even have an island at this point i have my bath and body works turquoise waters going right now i love the smell of it. i just stopped buying bakery scents don't quote me on that because i will buy some more in the future but i really like the fresh scents at the moment and then this is just from Target, the Joanna Gaines collection. It's like Hearth, Magnolia and Hearth or something like that. There's dishes that need done, no big deal. Didn't really clean up for you guys other than sweeping because if you see those cats over there, I have to sweep every day. So there's quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances. I love how much counter space I have. My Keurig, I use that every single morning. And then my wine and coffee I have in there. Um, I just use the disposable cups. You guys don't care about that though. Fridge. The only thing I don't like is I don't have an ice machine. That's like a must have for me. Um, I'm not doing a tour. I really need more food. I have all the condiments in the world I feel like. But then like nothing. So yeah that's my fridge. I think someday in the future I might do like grocery shopping with me and stuff. This is the cat area. So that is their litter box. You can't tell, which is, the, I mean, you can now because I'm pointing it out and like obviously it's litter box. But like from people just coming in, that's not drawn their eyes and like there's a litter box in the kitchen, but I don't have anywhere else to put it. Um, so I got one that kind of blended in. And then their food, all you need is love and a cat. Love that. Um, my purses, my masks, my keys, that's just where all that goes. I have mirrors there, hello. And then they both have their own food ball, obviously, but they're the same. And they actually interchange them, they don't really care whose is whose. Some cats are picked with that, but they are not. There's this weird little area here, I never really figured out what to do with it. At one point I had a plant there, but they died and you'll see in a second I'm not great with plants. Um, so really it just holds my chapstick and then these fake flowers from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, no, that's the um, home of my chapstick all the time. I always know where it's at. And this is my coat closet. So I just have my sweeper and my gym bag and my pool bag and coats and board games in there. And then in the living room, we have a cat. This is the home of Oliver. Say hello. And Chester was just over here. He's probably hiding because he doesn't like the tripod. This is my couch. I love this couch so much. When you take these back pillows off, it turns into um, a twin size bed, like in length. So whenever friends come over, they'll sleep on it. It's just my favorite. It's from Crate and Barrow. It's called the Lounge 2. And I think this is the 93 inch one. They make a longer one and then they make a sectional version which in the future I will definitely get a sectional. Um, this is what I call my uh, plant cemetery. So if you know anything about plants, which I do not, succulents are supposed to be hard to kill. That is what I was told. And now if you can tell every single succulent is dead and they have been for years. 
<laughs> Why are they not taken out? I, I don't know. I just left them up. Obviously, I'm moving, and at that point, I am going to throw them out. I've been very lazy with that, though. I just need to not try with plants anymore. They don't deserve the life I give them. Um, and then I have this chair from Target. Never used it just there for decoration. I don't even know if I'd put it together correctly because whenever I sit on it, it uh, makes a weird noise. So I think when I move next, I'll have someone take a look at that. And this is my, oh, Chester. Chester is in, this is his little area. It's where he hides. You probably even can't see him. I don't know if his red eyes. No, you can sort of see him there. Um, I vacuumed today and he's been hiding since. But this is their little cat area. They are always in that little cat house. My friend got them and their toys are back there. They will make their way around the apartment. And then I have all my gym stuff. So it's stuff that I acquired over quarantine when I was just doing home workouts all the time. I just have some free weights in there. And then I have their like weight. Well, now you can see them. They're adjustable. And then I have the bar weight, which I got from Walmart for only 40 bucks and it came with 100 pounds of weight. Such a good deal. Really, really bad quality, but it works. <laughs> and then out here is just a little deck area that you can see. I'll lift this up. I have a paddle board out here. <laughs> it's the only place that it would stay. Um, as far as like standing up you can see it it's just right there and then my tv and my tv stand i've had this tv stand for a long long actually since i moved to college when i was 18 so 12 years still works and then this is the office area it does have a double door which i enjoy that but I never close it because like what's the point i guess if you really wanted to hide something or if you had a mess but i don't um, so I have my rug. This is, I think it was only 40 bucks, and it was from RugsUSA.com. And I have this little floor pillow set up, a couple of things on the wall. I think I did a video about this. This is what my office looks like, so I tried to mimic it from my school office to here. And then I have a retro looking phone, some shipping supplies on the back there that I try to like make it so it's not in the way of everything. I want to get some pom- is it pom pie grass? Whatever that stuff is, the fluffy looking feathery things for that. This is my desk, it just has my computer. I don't sit there too much, but when I was working, I had my work like desktop there. So I use that a lot. And then um, a printer and let's see what else is just like the router and stuff on the bottom there and some wrapping paper. Anyways, moving on. Oh. Okay, and then from here you go. Did I even mention all these little cat towers that I have? I have three in here alone, and that's because they always change their minds on which wall they want to destroy because they all both of them have their claws. Um, so I have one to avoid that being scratched. I went to Tennessee and Kentucky the last couple weekends, um, and I had people watching them, obviously, like my apartment friends came over and would see them every day, and they uh, really had fun on this wall while I was gone, so I just moved that one. Gonna have to fix that up. And then this wall, Chester likes this area. They are naughty. Anyways, you'll see more. I have way too many so and this is just the washer dryer and that came with the apartment which was a must-have for me and then i have my line leggings drying because you can't put those in the dryer and then i go into my bathroom so this just has the water heater in there i'm not going to bother showing you that and then it's just a one uh sink vanity I still have my crimper out because, you know, it's what I used on my hair today. And then my toilet, the shower curtain. Oh, I love this sign. It says get naked. I got that from Etsy. And then I have 
my towels and makeup and stuff. So that's the bathroom. My rugs are my favorite. Those are from World Market. And then you can wash them. So I highly suggest that if you're in the market for rugs, go to World Market. And then lastly, in the bedroom. So this is obviously one of my favorite parts because it's where I'm at a lot. Um, and it's huge. So we'll start in my cat corner. I have this random corner over here, which probably would have been ideal for like a dresser, but it's cat corner. So I have my jewelry and then I have their big cat tower, their little cat teepee, which really they only use to chase each other into and then knock it over. They never sleep in it. And this is another Rugs USA. I originally got that for my office. I'm like, that's too cute. I'm gonna keep it here. My lamp. And then my fake side tables. There's nothing in those. Um, and then my bed. If you can believe it, there is only a mattress and a, uh, what do you call that? Like baseboard, bedboard, whatever. There's no actual um, like bed frame on this. My mattress is huge though. It is 13 inches. So I think that's why it looks like Nora bed. My bed frames at home, I'll end up using that. Um, and then the sheet is just from Walmart. I've had this for years and years. I love it. Walmart has some great comforters. And then other than that, I have another. There are things in here. I think I have some hair stuff in there. This is my mirror. You see it, like, if you have me on Instagram, I'll, like, post pictures on here. Um, and I got that at, not Whole Foods. <laughs> no, they do not sell mirrors. What's that place? Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Home Goods is where I got that. Um, and then I just have my picture frames and more pictures i have sage have i ever used it no but i thought it looked cute there and then a volcano candle i just got that recently i'm afraid to burn it because it was expensive and i don't want it to go away i have all my dirty clothes behind my door there so it's kind of hidden when you walk in you know and then in my closet i have all my summer clothes. I already took my sweaters and like jackets home, so it doesn't look like a ton in here right now. It's just all my summer like spring clothes and bathing suits. Um, and then all my Poshmark stuff is here. All my shoes are in here. And then undies and stuff and then makeup. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. More Poshmark stuff. So that was everything. Um, you might be wondering why I'm moving. Uh, there was a couple of different things. One, my lease was coming up. Um, two, I never expected to be in this apartment just on one income. Obviously my ex and I moved into this apartment together and it just, it worked when we were splitting half and half and it still works with me just like being here by myself, but I'm also not putting anything towards savings. And if I ever wanna get a house someday, I don't know how I'm going to without a down payment, so that's a huge reason of why I am saying goodbye. I love it so much, so, so very much. I'm going to be moving back to my hometown for the next year, and then I'll probably try switching schools and jobs after that. COVID threw a wrench into a lot of things. I wasn't gonna stay in Ohio. Uh, but then counselor jobs are getting cut left and right. We're one of those things where a lot of schools, you don't have to have us. We're obviously like recommended to have. I'm thankful my school, they see my specific job as a necessity, but like we even cut the counselor that had K through eight out of our building altogether. Um, just to save money after everything that's happening because they had huge budget cuts. So I feel lucky that they are even letting me stay for another year. So obviously right now it's not the time to get another job, um, but maybe in the future I will. And to make that happen, I probably shouldn't be stuck in another lease. So that's kind of where I'm at. It's also kind of noisy here having upstairs neighbors. I think in the future I'm going to either be on the top floor or not in like an apartment at all. But I'll get to that when that comes. Obviously, I'll take you guys on my journey with me. Uh, we're just going through a little hiccups along the way, but I think a lot of people are kind of dealing with transitioning during COVID right now. And 
everyone's just trying to do their part and make things work. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're going through any life changes right now or transitions. We can kind of be there to support each other. But other than that, I will get back to you guys soon, maybe in another place. I have a few videos that were already filmed here. So like if for some reason I move and then I'm in weird backgrounds, it's just because probably the whole month of box is going to be a mess when it comes to what I'm uploading and not uploading. But uh, I will try to take you along with the new like decoration. I'm not actually gonna decorate I'm because I'm moving home. So there's really no point to decorate that. So I don't think I'll do a, if you wanna see a tour of like the upstairs of my parents' house, I'll give it to you. I used to live there like years back. So I mean, you kind of know it. But um, I don't think I'm going to take any of my decor with me. I think I'm going to get a storage unit and just put it all there. Because I can't take my couch. And I love my couch. I'm not selling it. So we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do with the place. My mind's kind of like everywhere. Okay. I love you guys. I have to go. I'll see you soon. Bye.